Okay, so today I want to do something a little different. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I'm going to start making like truck videos. And so today I'm going to be, I got to clean out both trucks. Hunting season's over. So they're both messy and heck. Been eating Cheez Its for breakfast. But uh, I don't know if you can tell that this door handle right here, it's like, it's not supposed to be like that. So went and bought a new door handle. I'm going to be putting that on. Um, I may or may not do the door pins in that door today. They need to be done eventually. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna clean out both trucks. I have blood in the bed of that one, which is always a good problem to have. And then, so I'll have to wash all that out, get all the tools out, all my hunting gear. Um, and then I'm going to be doing kind of a video of me fixing that door handle. We're gonna go wash these up and yeah. So one thing I've done to this truck already, I bought this truck a little while back and you guys probably haven't seen it a ton. This is my stock one. It's pretty much the exact same as my lifted one, just a uh, stock. But the first thing I did to it when I got it was uh, I did a tint, that's 5%. It doesn't look like 5%. It's actually really nice because it's pretty light on the inside, pretty dark on the outside, you know, what you want. And then I also put some rims and tires on it. I'll show you guys those after I clean them up right now they're still covered in dirt you can't even tell that they're like aftermarket even so I'll show you guys those after I clean it up you better not leave that where somebody's gonna run over it and pop a tire hmm. okay all right well I'm gonna set you guys up okay so first I think you have to take this off but uh, let's see if we can get everything off without breaking everything. We're definitely gonna break something, but uh, if we can run it without breaking everything. Okay, I already broke something. Um, so apparently you're supposed to like pry out on this, like on this side, and then push in these tabs with like a smaller screwdriver. But I did that and that one definitely broke. Okay, I got this little piece off from right here. If you look, there's these tabs here and here. And you have to like push in on those and then slide it out. There's also one in the back, that's the one that broke. But it's probably fine. So now the door panel. Um, They tell you to use like an actual like putty knife or like a rubber crowbar or what. I'm just using a screwdriver, so we'll run it door panel's pretty much halfway off anyway. You know, most of these 90s are like that. Oh well. Oh baby, I forgot something. Duh, don't forget those. I'll take that out. Okay, I got those two screws out of here. And then I also think you have to take this switch off, which I'm not sure how to do that. I think it should just slide back and come off. We'll see if we can figure it out. Okay, so here's the new one. Hopefully it'll work. There's in the old one. There's a rivet right here that you have to drill out. Um, show you. It was right, right here. So and it, you have to drill it out, and then I think I'm just gonna put like a little bolt in the new one or something. But yeah, as you can tell. That one, was a, that one was a bit broken. I'm gonna keep that just for funsies.
Look, I'm just gonna put it back in. Put it in the oven, but not bad. So put it in the oven. Um, so I'll get the switches back in. Look, I'm just touching dirty everything under my face now. But we're gonna get the switches in, getting that back up, and get going. Okay, just got done washing it. Cleans up pretty nice. It's got a couple dents and stuff. Ew. But yeah, this is the one thing I don't like about this truck right there. And then also it's got a dent in the tailgate. Okay, with this truck, everybody keeps telling me to do it the exact same as my other one, like six inch lift, same wheels and tires and they all say I should make them the exact same, but I'm actually, I think I've got different plans with this one. Um, right now, I'm planning on probably keeping these wheels and tires. I like these. Here, I'll show you now that I washed them actually. So, they already have leaves on them, but, I mean, they don't look too bad. I kind of like them. That's the wheel and tire setup I have. I don't even know what the wheels are for sure. It looks like they're American racing rims, but they're not too bad. So, but for right now, I'm gonna keep the wheel and tire set up. I like the tint, I got a brow, 5%. People can't really see me unless like the sun's coming in my windshield or something. Um, I also am going to do some things like headlights, tail lights. The taillights are aftermarket. I don't really like them though. So headlights, taillights, probably do some switchbacks, do some LEDs, uh, put LED lights on the inside. So I got some plans for this truck. I'm not gonna go like all out because it's still kind of like a work truck. It's not the nicest and it has low miles, like 400,000. Okay, I jumped in the lifted truck and uh, right now I'm going to wash the outside. I've still got a bunch of stuff here on the inside, but uh, I'm gonna keep using this truck for hunting, I think. But yeah, um, I'm not gonna clean it real well. I'm just gonna go give it a pressure wash and then just enough to clean it up. Get like, I don't know if you can see, I got a bunch of crap stuck on the windows and then my windshield needs cleaned really bad. So we're just gonna go do that. So I was actually hunting the other day and uh, I came out, started my pickup in the morning, went up there, and then when I got home, I realized my tail light was missing. And it like, the clip is still in there and just like stripped all the wires out. So, uh, it's uh, my tail light's gone. So. Okay, so right now I'm in my lifted pickup and just a couple things I wanted to say about my lifted truck compared to my uh, stock height one is uh, the lifted truck gets uh, way worse fuel mileage, which is kind of a given. But one thing I actually think is it rides smoother. I think if you get a good lift, it really doesn't change the ride quality. I think what changes your ride quality the most is your uh, wheels and tires you like say the first wheel tire setup i had on this sucked it, it was uh i had some gear rims that were 20 by 12s with so i can't remember what tires were on mud tires and they were hard they 10 ply tires and it this thing rolled like it sucked every little bump and stuff and it like i'd get snow in my rims and then get on the highway you know and it's like hopping real bad because the wheels aren't balanced with all the snow in there and uh, I also had some uh, vision rims that were 20 by 12s negative 57 offset and those those rode okay they were a little better than the gear rims just because my tires were 35s instead of 33s and they had kind of more spun, they were more rounded tires instead of square. But then I put, right now I'm running uh, 17 by 10 rims with 295, just 295s on them. And uh, 
this truck is road this truck rides better right now than it ever has even stock just because I know there's there's so much more rubber and I run my tire pressure like 35 psi is all so there's a lot of sponge in the tire which takes up a lot of the you know bumps and shock like on dirt roads this truck just rides smoother than a lot of other trucks because of that and so that's one thing i just wanted to clarify so this truck right here 99 gmc obs it has six inch rough country lift so the first thing i like about the lift is I just love how much taller the truck is. It's like, if I stand next to it, I'm 6'3", and it's a little taller than I am. I'm a big guy. I really like sliding in and out of the lifted truck better. It just, uh, it's just way more comfortable for me to get in and out because I can just step right into it, no problem. And so I don't feel like I'm crawling in and out of a vehicle. The one thing that's really nice about the lifted truck is how much room is underneath it even just for working on it and stuff, or changing the oil, it's so much handier. You can also look through there and see the oil filters right there. So changing the oil on the lift truck, way easier to get to it. Like the oil filter and then the oil plug is also really easy to get to. But the one thing about it is, I don't know if I can show you guys here. So because of the lift, it puts your oil plug clear up here. So when you go to drain your oil, it gets all over your, uh, transfer case and then your drive line one thing about the lifted truck though is i used to have 20 by 12 rims on it with 35s i'll post a picture up here somewhere but uh when i had those big tires on it those real wide tires i did so many wheel bearings and so many ball joints i had i think i i got to where i could do a wheel bearing in like 10 minutes and i could do it was mostly the upper ball joints. I, I got to where I could do upper ball joints really fast. This stock truck, I haven't had to do a single thing on the front end. Also, this stock height truck, I can go 80, 85 down the freeway, and it just it doesn't even feel it. Just set the cruise, and it just cruises. Uh, the lifted truck, it doesn't like it. Not one bit. Um, I like to stick around about 70 is where about the max I go with this truck. Cause one time I was a, uh, I was coming down the highway at night and it was a, uh, it was pretty late. And so I was going, I was trying to get home kind of quick and I was going 80 ish, just had my cruise set. And uh, my buddy was driving next to me and he called me and he said, uh, hey, you might want to stop cause your exhaust manifolds are glowing red hot. And so it, it does depend on your truck, but I think the, the lift and the big wheels, it just didn't have the power to go that fast. And so it was getting it, it was making it really hot. Okay guys, thanks for watching. If I missed anything or you guys want to know anything else about like lift to pickup versus stock pickup or anything else about the pickups, leave it in the comments. I'll try to like either respond to your comment or I might even make a whole video about something else if you guys like if there's a couple people that want to know something. So yeah, feel free to leave a comment, leave a like, leave a dislike. I don't even care. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll be doing more videos on this type of stuff. I really like kind of tinkering with trucks and just making them look nice and stuff. I buy and sell quite a few trucks and so... Um, Hopefully I have more stuff like this. I know I'm getting all the stuff from Amazon to put on this stock pickup right now. And so it'll look pretty nice. I'll go try to take some rollers of it after I do all that and make a whole nother video on that. So yeah, thanks for watching.